I want to talk about Lou from Unbox Therapy and him breaking the internet again. So a month ago, Lou held a giveaway for 100 iPhones and it was top trending everywhere. I mean, literally UK, US, India, worldwide, number one trending on Twitter. And that was just genius to me. Now, just to give you some background, obviously, I think pretty much anybody listening to this podcast will know who Lou from Unbox Therapy is, one of the largest content creators uh, in, in the tech space, I believe almost 18 million subscribers on YouTube. Uh, somebody who I really look up to, you guys may see my top-down camera setup in my uh, studio, and that was uh, something that I got from Lou. One of his tips was uh, in one of his very, very old videos to use a background stand uh, and clamp on a camera, which is exactly what I've got. Uh, but also, like, you know, hanging out with Lou a few times. I was in Canada a couple of years ago, went over to his studio, he's got an amazing team. Uh, we, we shot a few videos together. And one of the things that I always find with Lou is he, that man has a lot of knowledge. Like after having a conversation with him, I'll always go away with something to think about because he just has a lot of knowledge. And I really like seeing him do things that are different and really making some moves. So this 100 iPhone giveaway, which took place uh, about a month ago, the hashtag uh, was 100 free iPhone 12. Everybody was talking about it. There was millions upon millions of tweets. And yesterday, well, today, he actually had another um, campaign, which was mm -hmm. uh, with the LG TV and uh, PS5. And again, it was top trending in many, many places. Now, the, the few things that I want to talk about here is firstly, how epic that is to see how one content creator can have literally worldwide top trending hashtag that everybody who is everybody is talking about e being a businessman the first thing i want to ask you is what is the value of something like that so say if a brand's kind of looking at this and seeing how somebody's managed to be trending worldwide in every region what is the value? Uh, I'll give you two values. One, mm -hmm. the value to the brand um, is highly insurmountable. Um, I haven't watched Lou's video yet, but I almost have a feeling that either LG reached out to, not saying he did, but I, if I'm LG, if I saw Lou do the iPhone one first, as a brand, I will reach out and the amount of money I know I'm paying will not be equivalent to a Super Bowl ad. Super Bowl is in two weeks, by the way, which is usually around 2.5 million. I'm not saying that's how much they charge, but it probably, even if they paid that amount of money, it will still, a Super Bowl ad does not trend unless it hits a certain line of funny or it's an Avengers trailer. Like that mm. is literally how yeah. you have to go. So yeah. the fact that one person can do this for you without you going through all those lengths is, it's I, I wouldn't say priceless, but it's, it's really huge. So for the brand, it's pretty big. And for Lou, on the other hand, the price point for him is marvelous. Now for him, this is just an increasing skill because if I am him, I look at the fact that, look, Lou is a creator, but Lou also is an influencer. I know people hate that word, but I love the word influencer because mm -hmm. it shows exactly not not on the not on that you know financial side but it shows the fact that you know he sways people's opinion just like the rock does the rock is the rock is like the uber influencer that we have he sways opinions <laughs> and lou has built up in you know you've talked about the staff about making sure that your different social channels are built up and not supporting just your main channel whether it's your youtube or whatever we're mm. making sure your Instagram, your Twitter, all those things. And he's built that up. So now this is now showing the cachet of that reach. And it's genius. I mean, I love it. It's it's beautiful it's, to see that yeah. in action. It's so, I mean, just seeing that impact. Uh, now, as we're saying, like, even if you were to spend $2.5 million on a Super Bowl ad, you still would not have it trending worldwide, worldwide on number one, right? Which Lou has managed to do, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. So, 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 so the value of something like that is is massive. Now, I want to. Uh, so, so Lou actually tweeted out. So, you know, 
100 iPhones, 12s, you're looking at $800 a piece. Um, and with shipping and also taxes for, for, for the different regions, because it was international, uh, Lou did tweet that the total cost for the giveaway was close to $150,000, right? Mm -hmm. Now, now that was, okay, that was the cost of the giveaway um, in terms of the logistics and obviously all the, all, all, all the, the, the actual iPhones, right? That plus the influence that Lou has uh, online, which is massive, just blows up, breaks the internet, yeah. right? Crazy. Everybody's talking about it. And, you know, I remember when I saw that initially, I was just like, I, I, I tweeted and I was just like, man, this is genius. This is genius. But it's also a great um, case study to kind of show that, look, this is what can be done. I can do. Right? Yeah. This this is what it can be done. And and again, I just think it's, it, the, the way it was done as well was, was very interactive where he had a live stream running on his YouTube channel, the hashtag was trending on Twitter. Then they would find, um, they would pick a winner at random, um, and then they would get in touch with them via DM live, and then they'll he he would sign the box and write their name inside the box. And again, just you know, simple things like that. It's just <laughs> uh, honestly, like this is the thing. This is why I'm, I'm like super inspired by Lou. Uh, just again to mention that I I think his his thinking and the way he kind of sees the bigger picture is just absolutely genius but i definitely wanted to touch on this on the podcast because seeing the impact that um influencers can have uh, in today's day and age literally taking over twitter worldwide i mean that, that that's 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 huge oh it is it is and you know it just makes me happy because you know my brains are just the wheels are turning they're just they're just <laughs> turning right now so lou yeah Lou, Thanks. keep 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 going, Lou. Uh, yeah, keep uh, keep pushing pushing the boat forward for 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 all of us. Uh, just because it opens up a, a lot of doors for for every one of us. So keep doing what you do, Lou. I uh, would love to have you on the podcast at some point. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you want to see more clips like this then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks, and I'll see you next time.